Hi, my name is Nell and I'm a material scientist at the University of Cambridge. Here we investigate how some materials respond to light and how we can use this to generate electricity. In this video we're going to talk about energy and the color of light. We're going to look at how energy can be used to generate different colors of light and how we can harvest light to generate electricity. Our main source of light is the sun. Each second, the sun bathes the earth with enough energy to power the whole world for two hours. That is a lot of power. And it is free, reusable, and almost unlimited for us. So we call it a source of renewable energy. The nuclear reaction happening in the sun's core is what powers the sun to give out so much light. So ultimately, nuclear energy is what creates the sunlight. Similarly, we can use chemical energy to create light here on Earth. This is how glow sticks work and how fireflies grow. We can also use electrical energy to generate light. This happens in light bulbs, TVs, lasers and neon lights. On the other hand, we can use the sunlight that is freely available to us to create electricity using solar panels, like the dark panels you may have seen on roofs, in fields or on garden lights. Solar panels work by absorbing sunlight and converting it to electrical energy. So light is super interesting and super useful to us, but what is it actually? To better understand what light is, light is actually made up of tiny bundles of energy called photons. Depending on the amount of energy there is in a photon that makes a light, the color of the light will look different. For example, there is more energy in the photon that makes blue light than the photon that makes red light. Sunlight looks white, but that's deceiving because it's actually made by photons with many different energies and therefore lights with many different colors that together look white. You can see an example of this when you look at a rainbow, which separates sunlight into the different colors that it's actually made of. In the following demonstrations, we will look at how we can use energy to generate light of different colors through a process called luminescence. We will also look at how we can transform the white sunlight into colored light through the same luminescence process, and how we can harness them to generate useful energy such as electricity with a couple of interesting demonstrations. So what is luminescence? Firstly, we will explain the principle behind how we can use energy to generate light of different colors through a process called luminescence. This is what happens when your clothes shine under UV light, the fireflies glow in the dark, the glow sticks illuminate in a party, or OLED televisions are being turned on. The white ball here represents some form of energy. It can be the chemical energy generated from a chemical reaction, or it can simply just be a photon, which is a bundle of light energy, as we discussed earlier. The person represents a colorful chemical we call a dye. Dye is the chemical contained in the luminescent things, like fireflies or glow sticks, and this is what will actually glow when the energy is given to it. The dye is in a low energy state when it's at the bottom of the stairs, and it doesn't do much. But when it gets hit by the ball, it is given extra energy. It becomes excited and jumps up to higher steps, a higher energy level. However, the dye prefers to be on the lowest step. So, regardless of what kind of energy was given to it before, it throws the energy back out only in the form of a photon of light, as it jumps down. When this happens, the dye will glow. And depending on the nature of the dye, it can throw out photons with different energies, creating light of different colors. This is a process we call luminescence, and it's what happens if you've ever seen your clothes glow in the UV or fireflies glow in the dark. We will see this effect in the following demonstration. We will use a chemical reaction to generate the energy needed to make a dye glow. We will also use different dyes to create different glowing colors. This is the dye that we use, which will give out light when it receives chemical energy from the reaction. This white powder is where the chemical energy is stored and will be released during the reaction. This is a catalyst for the reaction. Now, to prepare for the reaction, we will mix them together and then dissolve all of the substance we have in a liquid.
Now we have a solution of the dye and the chemicals where the energy is stored to make the dye glow. However, to start with, the dye is low in energy and so it doesn't emit any light, it doesn't glow. To make it glow, we need something that can activate the reaction, release the chemical energy stored in the white powder and pass the energy to the dye. So we add another chemical, called hydrogen peroxide, into our solution to kickstart the reaction. Now after adding this, the chemical energy stored in the white powder gets released and then passes the energy onto the dye, just like the ball hit the person, as we showed before. The dye then starts throwing out photons to create light, and it glows. This is also what happens when you crack a glow stick. In this system, the dye plays a very important role, as it determines the color we see by controlling how much energy it throws away in the form of photons. Therefore, we can create light of different colors by using different dyes. Now, we have shown you how to create colored lights using chemical energy. On the other hand, we can transform sunlight into colored light and harness it to generate electricity in solar cells. Solar cells can be made of many different materials which work best using different colors. For example, silicon solar cells, like the one in a calculator, work best using red light. Solar cells make solar panels, which tend to be solid, dark, and take up a lot of space. Scientists have been working to change this. One way is by hiding them in colorful windows like these ones. This would not only make the buildings more appealing, but also transform the sunlight into colors that work best for the solar cells. In the future, similar windows, or other objects around you, could be generating electricity from sunlight and you wouldn't even notice. We can make such colorful windows by using just simple plastics. Within the plastic, we've mixed in some of the dye that we used in the previous glowing in the dark demonstration. But rather than using chemical energy, we now use the freely available sunlight energy to make them glow. The photons in sunlight can hit the dye, like how the ball hit the person, and pass the sunlight energy to those dyes. The dyes then get excited and, depending on the nature of the dye, release the energy in the form of photon to make light of different colors through the process of luminescence. And these dyes are what give such a window its color under sunlight. But this window is cleverer than that, because it also guides the light to the ends of the plastics. You can see that the green light is very bright at the edges, because it is trapped in the plastic and can only escape at the edge. We can put stripes of solar cells at the edges, which can collect the light and turn it into electricity. This colored window is also called a luminescent solar concentrator. Luminescent because it uses the process of luminescence that we talked about before, converting light energy into different colors. Solar because we are using the sun's light. And concentrator because we are concentrating light at the edges. Now we are going to show you how to make such a colored window and use it to generate electricity in solar cells. In this demonstration, we have a see-through plastic window which is part of what makes a luminescent solar concentrator. And we've mounted stripes of solar cells to the edges of this plastic window. We have a big lamp which mimics the sun and we have a mini airplane that we are going to power with the light energy. And we also have the dyes that we will need to make the complete luminescent solar concentrator. We also have a power meter to show you the electric current produced by our luminescent solar concentrator. If we shine our sun over our plastic window without using any dyes, we don't get a very high current because our solar cells are not capturing enough light and the color of the light does not work best for the solar cells that we are using. However, if we cover our plastic with a dye, creating a colorful window, the device is now called a luminescent solar concentrator, and when we shine our sun on it again, we get a higher current. This is because the luminescent solar concentrator is concentrating more light of more useful color, which works best for the solar cell that we are using, onto the solar cells attached to the edges. With this extra energy, we can make more electricity and power our mini aeroplane. This is just a small demonstration, but you could imagine having such devices in buildings, all collecting sunlight and turning it into electricity 
without you hearing or seeing anything other than colorful windows. The more we investigate the chemicals that create or use light in interesting ways, the more uses we can find for them, helping us create a smarter and more sustainable future. Thank you all for watching this demonstration and I hope you enjoyed the video.